Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So we are gonna do a freezer organization um, slash declutter type situation. We're moving from an eight cubic foot freezer to a 22, so it's a lot, lot bigger. And then we'll also do a freezer tour. We have a total of three freezers, now four, because we do have an extra deep freeze that we're gonna move and probably fill up because we're thinking about buying half a cow. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here I'm just showing you the difference in the freezers. We got a really good deal at Costco.com. We ordered it online and it was $200 off. So I believe we got the large freezer for $5.99 and it was free shipping and installation, which was amazing. Couldn't beat the price, wonderful space. We absolutely love it. Through the rest of the clips, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through the organization part. That way you don't have to watch in slow-mo. <laughs> but I will stop and play some bits where we're, there's just some banter and funny things to help you get to know us and you get to see Dustin and kind of what he's like. So I hope you guys enjoy and then at the end of the video we're going to do a complete freezer tour of this deep freezer up close and personal. We go through each bin and we also have a party fridge on our gigantic patio and we use that freezer out there and we have an inside freezer as well. So I hope you guys enjoy.
remembers Mark Young Chicken, probably at the age of right around six weeks old. But in the freezer longer than it's been alive. <laughs> That's all the meats. Keys. If you want something, you can do this. Bacon wrapped shrimp. Need some butter? Carry gold, hopefully. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so please ignore, wow, everything I have in the garage. It's a garage, it holds things. Don't judge me, I won't judge you. Um, so now that you saw us organized and you hung out with us a little bit, let me show you the final product. All right, so firstly we have these bins. So that cheese that we have outside, we clearly need to consolidate. You'll see that when you see the next clip. Um, but this is just kind of our freezer meal things. We got ribs, sloppy joe, pork chops. And then over here we just have miscellaneous meats and things like that. We got bacon, we got chorizo, we got meatballs, we got hash brown tater tots. And over here is like a true miscellaneous section. We got our shredded cheese, our checkers, tortillas, some of the cinnamon bread that you can get at Costco. It's so good. Um, they don't describe that very well. So then down here, we have everything that we use to make a smoothie, and that's an easy grab-and-go bag. So when I'm meal prepping smoothies, I can just snatch it and bring it right inside. It's so easy. This is just like meats and box things. These bacon-wrapped shrimps with pepper jack cheese are delicious. I have made them myself, but that's a convenience item. It tastes good. I don't have to go through the effort of wrapping bacon around shrimp. Um, we just have some flounder here and these chicken breasts. Um, his brother watches our dogs when we go out of town and he will eat that entire bag in a couple days. <laughs> but we are going out of town in a couple of months and I was at the store and I saw it. So I just went ahead and picked it up. And then here, we just have some pizza and some baguettes. We get those at Sam's Club. They're so, you can use them for so many things. I think the box is like five or six dollars. It comes with a ton of packs. Um, then we got some of our butter. We got a bunch of different kinds right now. And then here we got like our meat section. So this container is ground beef. This container is a bunch of our chicken products, whatever we have on hand right now. We're pretty low, pretty low right now, but that's okay. And then down there is all of our pork stuff. We got some regular chops. We get a couple pounds of ground hamburger and we have some of the boneless chops. And then we just have some flour and everything fits. I got it like toppled over right now. Everything fits in here so well. This is our old freezer and that's our new one. So quite big of a difference. We love it. I'm so excited to have it. So blessed to have it. Okay, so now that we've gone through the deep freezer, we've organized it and I showed you guys what we have. We also have another freezer out here on our patio. It is a side-by-side, -side, so it's you know, half fridge, half freezer. 
we got it it's our entertainment <laughs> fridge and then we had a freezer and we weren't sure what to do with it and we quickly filled it up because that's how we roll um so here it is right here it's pretty big we got this on uh, facebook marketplace for a hundred dollars we've had it almost a year now it works perfectly fine it's wonderful highly highly recommend we didn't care what it looked like as long as it worked um, so let me show you what we have in here so we just have some rice cauliflower um, we'll use that to mix with rice and then we have some monster cookies I make up the dough and then we freeze them and we just take out what we want when we need it and then here we just have some broccoli and some broccoli Normandy blend here we just have broccoli these are green beans that were gonna go bad um, so we just freezer saved them and it's the way to go you don't waste anything these are sweet potato fries obviously um, they are delicious we get them from Costco they are super affordable they're just phenomenal I highly recommend and here I have a freezer meal. This is uh, shepherd's pie. I need to organize this too. But here we just have some steak strips, um, Trader Joe's type chicken, gnocchi, risotto, more broccoli. We freeze American cheese. It freezes amazingly. More vegetables and uh, green beans from Trader Joe's. Some liquor. <laughs> and some buns. So that's all we have out here, except for the fridge. Um, has no food in it, just a lot of beverages. <laughs> so nothing to really show in there. And I can give you a glimpse on what's in our main freezer. It's not organized, but we can take a look. kind of have a system to it and we kind of don't so here I try to keep like our meat so we have you know chicken chicken we got some ground beef that I don't know why we didn't freeze or save uh, these are maple breakfast sausages more chicken here we got some barbecue pork chops, but you get it, you know, we got pork chops, rice cauliflower, it's kind of like our vegetable section. We got some monster cookies inside too, and then here is where it gets tricky. This is where it gets tricky, so this is, hold on. So this is basically just our smoothie section. That's pretty much all that's in here. Yep. And then over here is, and then over here is kind of like our mix section. These you get from Sam's Club. They're so good. They're copycat um, Chick-fil-A bites. We had a bunch of stuff in here. These are the cookies that we made together. I'm not sure if that video is out yet. I had something explode in my freezer. I haven't had a chance to clean it out yet. <laughs> but thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching us reorganize. You got to see Dustin and hang out a little bit. And you got to see everything that we have in our freezers. Go ahead and like and subscribe this video. And I'll see you next time. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing us organize the freezer, um, looking and seeing everything that we have. Always mess up. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching us organize, hanging out with us a little bit and seeing everything that we have in all three of our freezers. If you liked this video, go ahead and subscribe. We have more coming in the future. I also will be doing grocery hauls and cook with me's and different types of recipes. I am trying to be more self-sufficient and buy less at the grocery store and make more things homemade and do it on my own. Our goal is to be 100% debt free within two years. And the only way to do that is one, stay off Amazon and two, do all of your cooking at home. Don't eat out, don't spend money, put it all towards your debt. So that is our goal. So if you're interested in seeing more of that, then go ahead and like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.